Yo, yo, yo. All right. Got some Dipsy Doodle action going. So just a quick rundown of Dipsy Doodle. Two keys to the game are the top saucer, which awards you either 500 points, it turns on the yellow pop bumpers, which takes them from 10 to 100 points a piece, or it turns on the green pop bumpers, which takes you from 10 to 100 points a piece. If you light up the yellow and the green pop bumpers, the red will also light, which goes from 100 to 1,000 points a piece. 5,000 points is also an award at the top saucer. Um, basically, any switch in the game will change the award of that saucer. You have to either plunge uh, skillfully to get the one you want or bounce it around to switch it to the one you want and then get it in there. The other thing is the doodlebug feature. Anytime you hit the center uh, yellow target in the lower play field, the, uh, the doodlebug will start running here. And each tick, it'll be worth either 10 points or 100 points. It's always worth 10 unless you collect 1, 2, 3, and 4. They're all the yellow spot targets at the bottom. Um, the top saucer will also spot you a number at the bottom. So if you hit the top saucer, uh, the light will go from one to two down here and, and so forth. Once you get all the way through four, uh, the hundred point light will come on. And then when you start the doodle bug, it will, it will give you a hundred points a tick instead of 10. That's pretty much the whole game. If you hit, um, any certain, uh, like ladybug areas in the upper play field, it'll stop the doodle bug from running. Or if you drain, it'll stop. Um, if you hit either of these side lanes by the pop bumpers, it'll open your um, center post. If you hit any of the static slings here on either side of the lower play field, it will put the post down. Or if the doodle bug starts, the post will go down. That's pretty much it. No bonus on this game. Just get all the points you can when the ball's in play. I lit my yellow pop bumpers. If I can get it again, now I got green on as well. So now I really want to get the ball back up to the upper play field to get it going in those pop bumpers. Oh. No, uh, no in lanes at all. As you can see, they had these floating flippers. Uh, the reason for that is, is when the doodle bug starts going, the game, the game doesn't want you to be able to trap and just hold it while you earn all those points. So you got to keep the ball moving to get those points. Get in there again. Okay, pop uppers are on again. So I, I hit all four. Now my hundred light is lit for the doodle bug. Now I want to get the doodle bug running. tough. So we can get to bounce once and go in the saucer, we'll get, nope. That 5,000 point award is huge. As you can see, the game scores in mostly 10 point increments, sometimes 100, maybe 500. Maybe a thousand here and there, but getting five thousand in one shot is very, very lucrative. Now that my game has very lively pop bumpers, uh, my pop bumpers were very sluggish before. It was not a terribly good idea to keep putting the ball back in the pop bumpers because they just weren't lively enough to get enough points or put it back up to the saucer, but they are now, so. Since I've rebuilt the pop bumpers, I've been trying to get them to the pop bumpers as much as possible. And then when I have my 100 point doodle bug ready, I'll hit that. So I got the doodle bug running now. You can see I was only getting 10 points a piece though, because I didn't complete one, two, three, and four. If the doodle bug is currently running and you, you complete one through four, it'll automatically switch to 100. So you don't need to do it before you start it. You can do it while it's running and it'll switch.
つけるんだよそれはスイッチのストップスのドゥルバーがトップスを5ボールゲーム、私はエクストラボールをディサイブルで、ノーボーナスのエンドボール、そういうことです。それは、それは、それは、それは、それは、それは、それいい
That was a good ball. Good games on this. Well, before I built, the, I rebuilt the pop uppers. Anything over like thirty thousand was a great game. Um, but I'd say now, like, if you can get to, if you can average like thirty-five to forty thousand a game, you'll you'll be in contention to win the game every time. Um, it can be brutal for sure. But now that the poppers are pop uppers are rebuilt, it's a little bit easier to score. Definitely not a game that you're rolling at every other game. That's for sure. Bug running. This is kind of how you want to play it when you do have it running. Just keep it juggling down below. So going into ball five, this is a very solid score, 46. My highest score ever since I got this back is 63,820. And that was right after rebuilding the pop bumpers. Before that, nobody broke 60,000. my house I have a, uh, a dry erase board with the top 10 scores for all the games that don't keep a high score list well, all the EMs basically um, was the general rule of thumb I won't put my name on the scoreboard unless I beat the tippy top score so even though this 53,000 would get me up there I'm keeping it at uh, so that I don't fill up the whole board because I play so much more at home so I like to keep guest names up there if I can so Unless I beat 63,820 today, my name ain't going up there. But I think we can, we can do that. Get some more pop uppers. Ball five. This is putting on display how brutal it can be. <laughs> I am quickly at ball five with less than 10,000 points. Ooh, there's a save. Mm. So that's pretty crappy.
take you out after this ball, Maximus. tree. Anytime you hit the open gate, you get your ball back in the shooter lane, but it resets the whole game. So even if you had all the pop bumpers lit, you gotta reload. Get in there.
go. in there. Get me back up to those pops. right through the minefield. Pop bumper trip without stopping the doodle bug. It's a marathon ball. Don't feel like I've gotten anything out of it though. Dead. Well, 30 on ball one. That's pretty huge. We're on our way to uh, 150,000 points. Let's do it. Five. Yeah.
Get in there. Oh. <laughs> Dancing around it. There we go. There we go. Now let's get Papa on the crazy. I want you to drain right away. Ooh. Oh, wow. That bounce. That bounce. <laughs> no way. <laughs> oh, baby. Five. We need eight thousand one hundred and ten points to take the lead. No, fifty seven, six forty. Squeaky shooter rod. Must be the spring itself. Stadium. Thanks for the bits, man. Thanks for the bits. Excited to see that uh, 
He made an all-in-one fusion kit for the Orion's Belt in Penn Stadium. That's pretty sweet, man. Pretty sweet. Yes, sir. Options are good. I'm glad to see uh, you're putting some options out there for everybody because it's only going to expand your customer base. Now we just need the street, the streaming version, like I mentioned on your thread with diffusers and GI only options. That would be sweet. Get back in there. Oh, yeah. This is where the saucer can be crazy. Come on, stay up there. Oh, I was like, oh, how did I get away with that? Yeah, so, Scott, there's a, uh, there's a captive ball underneath the play field. And when you hit the, um, the center spot target... On the bottom half of the play field, the a magnet pulses and it it, it it runs a ball across a switch underneath the play field, and every time it runs across that switch, you get a certain number of points. Uh, depending on where you're at in the game, you might get 10 points per tick or uh, 100 points. And to increase that value, you got to hit all your uh, numbered targets at the bottom: one, two, three, and four. One one is lit right now, and you can't go to two until you hit one. You got to hit them in you got to hit them in order. Yeah, that'd be sweet too, man. If it, even better if it can you uh, if you can um, externally mount it on the game. That would be sweet. Even for like tournaments too, if they're not your games, but you're in charge of doing the streaming and stuff, it's not intrusive. It'll uh, light up the whole play field, and yeah, that'd be great. going there. Yeah, not a bad little feature uh, for a game from 1970. And like I said, because of that feature, the game doesn't want you to be able to trap the ball or get the ball to a stop. So you, uh, you can see the, the gaps between the flippers and the sling, so you, you can't trap the ball. I have seen it happen once or twice where... The ball will actually come to a stop on top of the flipper bat, like right there on top of the knuckle. But uh, maybe like once in 2,000 plays. So good luck doing that while the doodle bug is on. Woo! Getting the five. Nice! All the pop bumpers are going. We want to keep the pop the ball up here the whole time. We even got our our, our hundred point uh, doodle bug lit. So if we can get that going after we get out of the pop, so that's sick. But we want to stay up in the pop as long as possible because our points are just going to soar. This is crazy right here. Nice. 
nice. Stay up there. Stay up there. Hunter point doodlebug. Now we just want to keep it juggling. Keep it rolling down here. Oh! Yeah, nice. Um, I'm not surprised that they could uh, benefit from using that kind of uh, setup as well. I mean, same for me. If um, Once I complete building a more mobile rig to do streams at um, my tournaments, it's obviously on location. So it'd be nice to just have that ability for, uh, to help light up a game that um, otherwise would look pretty terrible on stream. So. So we squandered a very huge opportunity last fall. We should have gotten way more points than that, but that's okay. So the ball is running underneath the play field right now. And then pretty much if you hit anything up in the upper play field, it stops it. Yeah, right. Like I said, there's a lot of people that, that run tournaments and stream them uh, that might not have access to the to get inside the games and things like that. So just having that quick quick mount to, to the side of the game would be great. I'm trying to think, every single game has a metal side rail. So yeah, I mean, like any, you, you, you probably need maybe a little bit of a beefier magnet, I would think, but not sure and it wouldn't matter how thick it was you know so excited to see what you come up with there Scott oh brought that one back in stay up there oh come on don't be doing that to me. Don't be doing that to me. Mm. No, man. Actually, uh, th this is the first game I ever bought. I sold it to a friend in the Cincy League. Uh, he had it for maybe a year or two, and then I bought it back from him. So I haven't always had it, but uh, but yeah, I've uh, this is the first game I ever got. All right, we're at 53. The high score is 63. 820. See if we can do it. Final ball. Here we go. This is where champions are made. And we don't even get to flip. <laughs> yeah, Scott, I think the last time you came over, I, I probably had a significantly different lineup. Uh, let's see. So standing in front of the EMs right now, I have Odds and Evens, Grand Prix, Dipsy Doodle, Jungle Queen, and then the Solid States, uh, Big Guns, Game of Thrones, Royal Rumble, Big Game, World Cup, Soccer, ACDC Premium Vault, uh, Holland Glow Trotters, but that's a buddy of mine, uh, Firepower, T 
Ted Nugent, that's a buddy of mine, and um, Baby Pac-Man and Flight 2000, which also, Baby Pac-Man belongs to me, but not uh, Flight 2000. So I think out of my games, I think I'm up to 12 now. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yeah, if you count Baby Pac-Man, 12. Get in the green. Oh yeah. Stay up there. Oh, swing! Don't know what I was doing there. Get in there! So Scott, when are you gonna get? Uh, are you gonna get the monsters? Would love to come over and do a stream with you if I get time to. Ah. Monsters looks awesome. I I watched that premium stream uh, from the Stern Factory with uh, Dwight and the other guys that worked on the game. I think one guy's name is Mike, and then I would say John Borgen and those guys. Um, yeah, it looks great. Um, Dwight usually does a bunch of rules that I like, and uh, I love Borg's designs. Uh, Walking Dead's one of my favorite games, so I think it looks like it's going to be a ton of fun. Hell yeah, Ronald, that's awesome. What uh, what area are you in? You're like in the Maryland area, aren't you? Or like, like New England somewhere? DC? Something like that? I feel like that's what your uh, pin side location says, maybe. But I could be completely wrong. That's exciting, man. I myself have never bought an LE, but I'm sure it's a very exciting experience. I just had my first new in box premium experience with uh, ACDC, and tell you what, it wasn't the first time I bought a new game, but. I was probably more excited to get that than I was uh, when we first went to go get Game of Thrones and I bought that new, so it's pretty exciting. Oh, get in there. I've danced around that saucer like a hundred times. Oh, Belgium, sorry. That's right. I, I think we've talked about uh, where, where you're at before. Yeah, just uh, let me just hop on a plane real quick. I'll be right there. <laughs> but that's cool, though, because uh, I, I think since you're overseas, the, uh, the overseas limited editions get shipped first, maybe. Could be wrong there, too. But So you should probably be getting yours soon. Make the doodle bug go. Yeah. All right. Let's see what we can do here. There you go. Doodle bug. <laughs> 
pro's already there. Awesome. Did you, uh, did you get a chance to play one yet? I just, I, I was talking with uh, Trent last night, and I was asking him, and he wasn't too sure because I don't think he's played the pro yet. I was wondering how they're going to make the... Thanks for the biddies. Um, how they're going to work around uh, Grandpa's lab at, uh, laboratory with the pro. Because it just seems like that lower play field has so many like modes going on and it's used a lot. So I was just curious as to how they get around that with the pro. And to be honest, I've played ACDC Pro so very little that I'm not too sure how they deal with uh, those modes either. But on ACDC, I feel like it'd be pretty easy. I mean, you just, for those modes, you just light up different shots on the play field and that, that's how you complete the mode. So just the whole aspect of playing the lower play field with the upper play field during multi-ball and the ways that... Uh, I'm sure Dwight's going to come up with some really interesting rules for that. So, yeah, I just... It seemed weird how the pro would be able to compensate for that. But I'm sure they'll figure out a good good way to do it. Ah! <laughs> I knew. Uh... Premium or LE on Monsters? Oh, the black and white, for sure. I thought the black and white was going to be the LE at first, so I was like, well, I'm not really typically an LE buyer. I mean, it would have to be something really, really special, and I might only do it once in my life. But uh, the premium, I that black and white's amazing. Like, Centaur was one of the first games I ever really, like, sought out and, like, really wanted to get when I first started collecting. But the price of that kind of kept me from buying it. And, uh... But that, that black and white artwork with just the, the right hints of color everywhere, oh man, uh, I love that. I know it's like hit or miss, you either love it or hate it, but I'm definitely in the love camp on that one. Ellie's are sold out? Yeah, I, I think I heard that Ellie's are sold out everywhere. Or that they might be offering up 100 more Ellie's because of how popular they've been? Not sure. Yeah, I mean, that, that black and white premium, if, if you like black and white, it's so unique that it would just, to me, it would be like the centerpiece of a, a collection because of how like unique it is. They did such a fantastic job with that. I had heard rumors that one of them was going to be black and white, but I was like, I don't know, they've done like... They've gone so far towards like the the really colorful artworks, and they've it's it's worked out great for them. So I was kind of glad to see them like think outside the box and try something new and uh, take a risk. And I think they did a great job. That black and white's incredible. Yeah, I, I thought that was uh, interesting too. Like, they typically do all that the same color. And I'm not a gold fan at all. No matter if they do like the mustard color or even like uh, the Beatles gold was better. If you've seen that, it has this like shimmer to it. There's like gold flake in it as well. That definitely helps. But at the end of the day, I like it to be a little more subtle. So if you did like a really nice glossy black with like maybe like a hint of like gold flake in it, if you wanted to have some gold, I think that'd be sweet. I've seen those before and, and those look really nice. So it's like, it looks black, but then like if you're right up there, like looking at it, you can appreciate the like subtle gold flake to it. But um, yeah, I'm usually not a gold fan of any kind as far as like powder coating goes. Like, even on the Lord of the Rings LE, that really, like, mirrored finish, like, I guess that's more brass than gold, I guess, I don't know. But it has, like, that mirror finish to it, which looks amazing. 
the second you touch it, it just gets like fingerprints all over it. <laughs> but I guess that's how it would be if you got chrome too. It, it seems to be the same type of finish that... But like it immediately smudges, so it's like you can't even play the game. <clears throat> Crap! notice that either um, all I noticed was how they uh, I like how they brought back I think Walking Dead was the last time I did it but Borg doing those ramps that go through the backboard and come back out I love that I've never had a game that did that so definitely would like to get monsters um, and then on the right side it has that it's kind of like that 90 degree like come back at your ramp where you like you hit it and immediately comes you know yeah it's like a I guess it's a 180 degree turn and comes right back out. Well, this one's kind of a, more of a gradual, kind of like a skateboard ramp almost, where you kind of go up and then, and then come back the other way. It's pretty cool. I just can't wait to play. I, I think we should have them uh, nearby in the next week or so. And then I assume launch parties next month. And then, um, yeah, I'll be excited to, uh, to play it. Very, very cool looking game.
sometimes if it gets like it's about to roll off there, if you kind of flutter the flipper real quick, it might. Sometimes it'll make the ball bounce up and kind of get out of there, but obviously it didn't work that time. Oh yeah, let's go, let's go, come on. Get in there. Seven, yuck. We're getting our butts kicked here. We'll get there. We've been close a couple times. We'll get there. Again, the goal is 63-820. Oh, brutal. power love the name too man i just it was hard to read your uh with your font like your your name's blue on my little uh display here and it's a dark display so it's hard to read it at first but max power is a great name get it back in there get back in there Doodlebug's at 100, so when we get back out of here, we need to get that doodlebug running. Get in there!
key is to survive the initial hit to the center target. Two balls. Remember, we gotta get to 63820. 63-820 will be an official new high score on this game. Oh, nice. Thanks for spending your break with us, brother. Freshen up while I contemplate my last two balls here to get just over 10,000 points. <laughs> I almost hit the start button. <laughs> that would have sucked. All right. Two balls to go. We need almost 11,000 points. It would have been nice to get a couple of 5,000 saucer hits while we were up there. Two thousand on that one. We got some work to do. Come on now. Get in the five. Oh! I'm an idiot. <laughs> well, we've been in the mid fifties like five games. We just can't get over that hump of sixty. Sixty three.
So yeah, surviving that initial hit to the doodle bug target, it's tough. Get back up in there! Oh! Haven't had all the pop bumpers let in a few games here. Come on. Oh no. action there. Let's see if we can't get something good going here. Oh, get in. Yeah! What was that? <laughs> How am I going to broadcast? Dude, are you kidding me? I can't keep up with uh, those guys over there, Carl, dude, he's amazing. I'm just glad he helps me with my streams so I can make them a little bit better. Um, yeah, I was watching earlier today. He does such a good job. And everybody that helps him, I'm sure he's got tons of help too. That I know that, that uh, those types of things are not uh, easy to do, so that's great. I, I, um, I'd really love to make it out there one year. But, I mean, if it this weekend isn't terrible for me but again it's at the start of my busy season so i really shouldn't be leaving but it would be really cool to go out there and see that one year it doesn't help that it's pump and dump too if i'm gonna go out of town it, i usually like it to be a different type of format but that's definitely something i would like to check out one day um but yeah carl does an awesome job hopefully i'll have a similar mobile rig to his um so that i can use it for our local tournaments but um but yeah I mean, he does an awesome job. Oh! I thought I had in the shooter lane, not on the damn... God damn it. You distracted me, Evan. Papa style, though. So you mean everyone's got to do the cards? Where you, uh... You got to play five games and all your games on those five count or whatever? Tickets? Whatever you want to call it. If, if that's the case, then yeah, that's way better. That makes me want to go more. Thanks, dude. The, uh... I got off to a hot start. I think I went like 7 or 8 no yesterday. And then started falling off a cliff. Because <laughs> it was head-to-head, round-robin, balanced pairings. But for whatever reason, the program set me up as playing second for the first half of my games. And first on the 
second half of my games. So I was crushing it playing second on all these games, and then when I started playing first, I started losing. So uh, it came down to the last game. It was exciting. It was it was it was just a matter of how many people were going to be tied. It ended up just being me and Carl tied, but Carl from over this way, not Carl D'Angelo, who we were just talking about. But um, yeah, it, yeah, it was a good time. Should have came down, man. It was fun. We all hung out for at least a few, three, four more hours. We just partied, played dollar games, and had a few beers, had a few laughs. Yeah, no worries, man. Gotta gotta make that money when you can. But yeah, it was, it was a good time. We'll see you at the next one. I'm not sure when we'll play to play together again, but it'll uh, hopefully it'll come down for my tournament in June again at the absolute worst. But hopefully we'll be able to hang out sometime sooner than that. But uh. I'm looking to push my entrance to 48 this year instead of 40. I think um, I have enough room in my house to so that that's not too many people. Gonna have some updates to the stream. I'm hoping to involve that score bit stuff in my uh, in my stream at my house this year. Um, I'm trying to think like what other improvements I have planned. Uh, I've beefed up my stream rig so that I can have the cameras be better quality. Um, but yeah, June should be good. I think uh, Scott said he's already available to do the the stream and everything. Well, um, so yeah, it'll be it'll be fun. <laughs> Dude, you should just camped out at the mill. Yeah, we had. We had some people at the party last night that uh, just kind of stayed for a while longer. Because there was a period there yesterday where down by us it was pretty bad too, like like ice all over the roads and stuff. But when we left there at, what time was it? It was probably like 10.30 when we left there, maybe 10 o'clock. Um, the roads weren't bad. I mean, everything was wet, sloshy, you know, that kind of stuff. But it didn't seem like the roads were very icy. It's been a few years since I prepared tax returns, but your free tax advice of the day for student loans is it was always that you could deduct the interest on that. But I think that may have went away, or if you've been out of school for a certain amount of time, I think, uh, I can't remember, but it may have gone away. Because with the new tax rules, I think that you just get the standard deduction for you is just much higher than it used to be. And doing that student loan interest was what's called an itemized deduction and the way your tax return works is whichever number is bigger the standard deduction which everybody gets or all the other stuff and if all the other stuff isn't high enough then you just take the standard deduction so I think because of how high the standard deduction has gotten most people will, will not itemize their deductions meaning even if your student loans are still allowed to be a deduction on your tax return they're not going to be enough to overtake that standard deduction. But again, my knowledge of it may be a little bit dated. I only uh, read up on it enough nowadays to stay dangerous, but I'm a financial statement auditor now. I don't prepare tax returns anymore, so I'm kind of out of the loop, unless it's a pretty major big change. But Evan, I'll text you later and just double check with my wife because she still does um, her whole life as tax work. So I'll double check with her.
just making fun tax. Yeah, tax is always so much fun to talk about. But no, like I said, I um, got it. I never really did a ton of it, but I completely eliminated it from my day-to-day. Uh, -day, probably about three years ago. Oh my goodness! Ooh, those pop bumpers are all lit. So pretty. Ah! I think I may have tilted there as it was going into the drain. This game is prone to tilt throughs. People, when they play this game, they see, oh, this game doesn't award me bonus, so I'm gonna be cute and just tilt every ball that I play because what am I losing well you're losing your entire game if you tilt through the next player league last weekend we had at least one tilt through maybe two when I use this in Cincinnati there is at least three or four tilt throughs and then the tilt on this isn't com unfair by any means I think it was just people one not realizing how tight the tilt was and then two thinking well if I'm not getting bonus ever why wouldn't I just tilt every ball well that's why <laughs> Take care, Ev. We'll see you later, man. It's not going well this game. Not going well. Split open and melt. I'd say it's 75% that once you hit this center target and the doodle bug starts going, you're drained. Be on the ball, people. Be on the ball. Well, that has got to be one of the most brutal games of Dipsy Doodle ever. 7,500. Good lord. One bounce, 5,000. No. Nope. the doodle bug running and I did this I believe what my fellow tournament directors have informed me is you win meaning if I had the doodle bug running right now and I was able to pull this off since I the player am able to control when this ball becomes unstuck I can just sit here until I get the score that I want 
That's crazy. And hopefully my stream didn't screw up and I can clip, if somebody can clip this, that'd be sweet. But yeah, so I am trapped up right here and we could just let the doodle bug go for days. And we drained. <laughs> I'll have to clip that later and, and, uh, yeah, <laughs> that would be something because I bet, well, cause some player would have to do it first, right? So the first player that does it, they're eventually going to drain the ball. So I'm sure they would just get to a score there. They're like, that they'd be like, okay, nobody's going to catch this. No way. And then the, the second player that does it, they'll just do it until they win. But yeah, it's funny we got that on camera. Because like I said, that's that's like the third time I've ever seen it happen. It's probably been a few thousand plays. of a bitch would that be you pull that off in a game you know should be guaranteed win right but then some player after you does it too and then they just wait until they have a higher score than you did that'd be funny Oh, I clipped it. Thanks. Thanks so much, Ronald. I'll definitely share that later. Let's see what some other tournament directors think. I mean, I'm pretty sure we already talked about it, but yeah. Funny. So yeah, we pulled it off there, but the doodle bug wasn't running. So it's like, there's no, uh, n nothing really happening there, but it's just funny that we were able to get that on, on camera, that it's possible. <laughs> the one and only way. Trap the ball up while the doodle bug is running. job right now advancing my numbers oh. oh yeah so that's the whole like uh, pace of play like you're absolutely crushing like this game has been decided type ruling I I've heard about that too and I'm curious, it seems like in your case that that player obviously wasn't the final player. And then, well, yeah, I, I, I don't know. Like, I think when I read about it before, maybe it was like player one, ball three of a four player game. And they were just so insanely ahead. And I don't know, if the situation is just right, that the, I guess the TD can just call the game. And then, do the players' positions just hold there? Yeah, or would they just say, 
you particular player that are absolutely crushing everyone, you get the win, and then the rest of you will continue to play for the other three spots. I don't know. But I have heard that too. Because a tournament like Pinburg is only as good as its slowest game every round. So I remember when I went there, uh, there were a couple rounds where it took like an extra 10, 15 minutes than average because of how long one game was taking. solid ball. Get in there. in and have not beaten the high score yet. Who would who would have thought that 64,000 points would be an insurmountable achievement? I thought I was going to get a bounce there. <sighs> Have those football games started yet? I'm 
I'm sure they have. If anybody could update me on the scores, that would be fantastical. Destroying the Chargers. Not surprising, but disappointing. <laughs> I got nothing against the Patriots and Tom Brady and all that, but I'm just ready to see different teams win. I'm really excited for uh, Kansas City. I hope they just keep rolling. Patrick Mahomes is so impressive. And I'm jealous. As a Bengals fan, I'm jealous. <laughs> Looks like Pats are going to cruise there. Kind of feel bad for Phillip Rivers. I think he's a great quarterback who's a, probably close to calling it quits, and this may have been his last chance. Pretty solid ball there, but we're gonna need an even better one here. Goodness, get in there! Stay up there. We need the salsa. We need the salsa. Get in!
What a beautiful buzz. Get in there. Yeah. That was a nice little cadence there. Look at this, look at this. Get in the yellow. No. Nice. Decent, decent. 5,000, come on. You know you want to. We gotta get this score at some point, right? We gotta. Again, 64,000. 64,000. there but did not we're gonna have to get on the horse here quick if we're gonna 
get to this score. dog's hairs get inside of this game. Right there. That was totally by accident. Another one. No! Oh, take two, they're small.
46. Not gonna cut it. It's just not gonna cut it. Get in there. to play some pinball my job is done thanks for watching again Ronald and congrats on the monsters enjoy the game man I'm jealous Houdini. Good luck, man. That game's rough and tough, but lots of fun. Fifteen! We're going backwards, people. We're going backwards, people. make you mad. That'll make you mad. off that rubber.
Heck yeah, man. I love EM machines too. It's crazy how many different layouts and designs were in all these games. All these EM games. Because they just made so many. Like, yeah, a lot of them, like, had the exact same layouts, but different uh, artwork. But, man, there's so many with just, like, the most crazy, weird rules and unique layouts. It's nuts. Probably some of these designers were probably designing, like, <laughs> two or three different machines a week. This is not. This is a Williams. Williams Dipsy Doodle from 1970. It is the four player version of Doodlebug. So they made another game, exact same layout, different color scheme. Uh, that was single player called Doodlebug. A little bit different rules. Um, on this game, you can only advance the, the running ball underneath the play field's value to 100. On that one, you could advance it all the way to 10,000, which is crazy. But um, the extra ball rules were a little bit different. But outside of that, it was pretty much the same game, just single player. But yeah, Williams, not Gottlieb. And I'm getting screwed right now. Get in there. Come on, man. Not sure what our worst game today was, but that had to have been close. Get in there. Hell, I almost got last game scorer off the plunge here. Plunges in a row. Get in there. Get in there. Decent ball there, decent ball. Ooh, nice. That was a good plunge. That was a good plunge. We keep this up, we're gonna get that high score again. High score is just under 64,000. Man, I 
feel like if you fail on the plunge and don't get it into that saucer, it just starts the ball off all wrong. You gotta get in that saucer. catches on this game uh, all right so we need just under 14,000 to take this score here come on now get in there stay up there no failed attempt. Stay up there. Oh, it's just bouncing. We gotta get to 64,000. 20,000 on this ball. We gotta do it. No! All right, we 
got till 4.30. We got to get this score before 4.30. So we got another 20 minutes to get this score. Get in there. It's something. <laughs> Holy hell. in there. Get my booty kicked.
Let's light them up. Let's light them up. Twenty-nine, Ethan. We can do better than that. Hey. Right. turn off that's painful oh oh yeah come on 
Stay down here for like a week. Just be destined for mid fifties today. Doodlebug could start, it was silenced. Twenty thousand. Twenty thousand. We can do this. We can do this. Get in your hole. Oh boy. Oh boy. Hodge. All right. We'll try a handful more, and then we're gonna call it. done yet. Come on.
Oh god. Why are you doing drop catches? What is wrong with you? <laughs> Get in there. <laughs> I need those bumpers. I need those bumpers. about this game. Crack up in a fresh beer. I got a good feeling about this. Sixty-four thousand. Sixty-four thousand. Let's go. trying to go to that out lane, but I won't let it. Stay up top. Get in the five. Oh! Look. 
ghost. We're gonna get this high score while hearing some ghost, maybe. Oh, uh, what? <laughs> that would have been a clip for the century if that came back in. Do this. We need 64,000 to get the new high score on this game. One last game. Let's do it. Take it. No! Alright. No better time than now to get 40,000 points. Let's go. Sixty-four thousand points. Um, we had some good games, though. Learned about it. Even got the ball trapped on the top of the flipper. Ronald, thanks for clipping that. Anyway, thanks everybody for tuning in. I'll be back next Sunday, and I'll be doing Sundays from now on until I get through my busy season at work. So, take care, everybody. We'll see you next weekend. Peace.